hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to do the first episode of my home series with my new home renovations if you're new here my name is Ivani. i do things all home makeovers home inspiration and home decorating and if you're a returning subscriber then hey guys welcome back to my channel guys so without further ado let's go ahead and get into these home renovations Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel y'all. So in today's video, I actually am going to paint the bedrooms. I did a first coat of paint, but we're gonna go ahead and do the second coat of paint as well. And I start painting the second bedroom in my master bedroom. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of other updates. I did paint the kitchen as well, right there. So yeah, just kind of put like a fresh coat of paint on the kitchen and like paint it down there and then behind the fridge and stuff like that so and but this is just like the first coat and like i said i have to do a second coat in here also the living room is coming along because we pretty much got all the walls done in here except for the dining room area if you don't know i will be putting up drywall so that's pretty much what's going on in here and like i said this is the only other room that has to be done but everything else is done as far as covering up the uh, creases. So that's what we're doing. We're covering up the creases that are inside the wood. And that's what we're doing. And then also up in here. So yeah. So that's what's going on right now. This is actually the drywall mud that we're using. Which is the plus three. This is the drywall mud that we're using. And then... This right here says a topping. I'm not sure what's the, it says to fill in the coats. So yeah, so both of these buckets we are using to drywall mud the wood creases to create that wall that we're trying to achieve. So um, yeah, so these are the ones that we're using, which is the plus three, and then this says the topping. So this is basically what we're using to drywall mud the walls, and that's what's actually on the walls right now right here guys in my first video i mentioned to you guys that we are using primer to prime so they have this primer that you can use for basically spaces that's like has like that shiny coat on the wood basically what this does is that instead of sanding the walls we're just going to prime it with this one two three primer and this is all we're gonna to need to kind of go over the walls and then that way the paint can stick to the wood walls and not have to use so many coats. So, plus uh, the walls have like a um, shimmer. Let me show you guys, if you guys can see. The walls have like a glossy like finish. You guys can probably see it right here where it's like a glossy finish. And that's pretty much why we're using the one, two, three primer to prime the glossy finish and the paint will stick and it just won't slide off the wall. So that is what we're using. So if you guys want to use that for anything, and, I'm, and I think you can use it for pretty much anything. It says stick to all surfaces without sanding, seals, block stains, dries in an hour, use with any top coat. So I think this is a really good product. This is our first time using it. So like I said, and this will save you a lot of time instead of having to sand all the walls in your house if you do have real wood walls. And guys, like I said, the flooring, like I said, this flooring is laminate flooring. And I think we're gonna go ahead and go with, they have this flooring out there now and it's actually called Luxury Vinyl. So I think that's what I wanna go with. I'm going to see if I can insert a clip. Yeah, it's, it's better to have it there, that way you don't have to worry about laying it. Cause when you have to lay it under laminate, you gotta either staple it to the ground if you have a wood sub floor, mm -hmm. or spread it out flat and you gotta constantly work work with not tearing the, or pushing it with your knees and stuff as you're working with it. Okay. And these so, are luxury vinyls, okay. Mm -hmm. And this is a Pro Core Plus versus the Pro Core Regular. Okay. Okay. And, and the Plus is always better than regular, right? Yeah. Okay. And then... And the okay. So... So pretty much in the... Okay. So in the, in the Pro Core Plus, you got that. These are okay. free samples. Okay. Okay. You take with you. okay. You got that one. You got the Tudor Oak one, and I got, I'll grab that. Okay. One. And I got, I got some gray over here. Uh, okay. Same thing. I'll pay you got some gray over there. If you're a girl in the gray. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's those three. Uh-huh. Okay. The Smart Core is a shawl product, just top of the line when it comes to vinyl. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one right here. Charles okay. Smoke. So those are the four colors that we have in the Procore Plus. A luxury vinyl. So guys, this right here is just basically like a nozzle that um, that we're going to use to on top of here to pour the paint more effectively so the paint won't get everywhere. And I believe this probably came from Lowe's. And this is the brand right there if you guys want to get that. Okay, so that's that. And then also guys, I am burning this coconut milk candle, you guys, from Hobby Lobby. And it smells so good, like y'all. It smells so good, y'all. If y'all ain't got this, go get it because it smells so good. good. I got two of these in the house right now. Just to kind of like create like a little nice little bed, but it smells so good. But anyways, I heard somebody mention about trying to take down this wall. <laughs> I am not taking down this fireplace. I like this fireplace and I can definitely um, work furniture around it. I can really see it being a cute little vibe, especially in like the winter time, fall season and stuff like that. So I will just, you know, create things around the wall, but I will not be replacing this wall. I'm not even sure if I'm going to paint this wall as well, but yeah, so I'm going to keep the wall. This wall has like a texture on it, guys, as you can see. It has like a texture on it. It's probably gonna to have to be covered up with drywall just to um, create a flat surface. And then as you see, everything in here pretty much has that glossy finish. And that's why we got the one, two, three primer. I am thinking about black trim on the doors. I think all the doors on the house. And I'm thinking about um, white doors in here, probably black trim. And then for my Basically like all the trim in the house I wanna do black. I also wanna do my front door black as well. And I might do white trim on that one, but I th and then this closet, I don't know if I showed y'all this closet the first time, but this is front door closet. I guess this is like the sound horn or whatever. So yeah, that's just like a front little front closet, so. The goal is, is to have black trim throughout the whole house. And the color that I did decide to go with, guys, I ended up getting my paint from Lowe's. And the color that I did go with is the Satin Ultra White paint. And that's the brand right there. And it's about the ultra kind. And then they also have the regular kind that's not ultra. But this is a really, really pretty color. And guys, this is the color that we're gonna go with for the living room and the bedroom so I got the satin because the satin I can wash the walls if I want to versus like the flat paint it'll come off if I like caught myself trying to wash the walls and stuff so that's why I got the satin paint that's the color that we're doing through the whole entire house and my bedrooms too as well so we got the paint and so far this is how the paint is looking like I said I did a first coat and then I just have to go over it again with a second coat. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're just gonna go ahead and do some painting. Also guys, the ceilings will be done over too as well. We end up getting some ceiling paint. Let me show you guys real quick. I just walked around the whole house. <laughs> but, um, we got some ceiling paint, and the ceiling paint is basically the same brand, but it's the flat kind. And I, like literally, I ain't even know that they even had ceiling paint. I just thought you use regular paint for ceiling paints, but for like ceilings, but it says paint and primer, ceiling, ultra, Valspar. Yeah, and this one is in white. So this is the ceiling paint that we're gonna use for the ceilings. So this is the brush that I'll be using for like the edges and stuff. 
And then this is my roller that I'll be using. And I'll be using this right here. I'll be using this stool right here to kind of get up there because I'm not that tall. So let's go ahead and get started with this.
take my Myers and I'm going to use this to clean my sink. Comment below if you guys use Mrs. Myers. And also comment if it's like any other like different cans that you guys would recommend for me to use because I like this product and they smell really good too. Y'all, I cannot get over how beautiful this sink is. It's stainless steel. Like, I love the knobs. It's so elegant. It's so cute. Love the faucet. So, I'm so glad this was already here when I got the house. Love that. had this little divider thing right here and I didn't have this in my other apartment and I like this because you can pretty much like divide different stuff in there so I like that a lot and then this one is just like a regular cabinet okay but it's a lot of storage space a lot of it had like this old wallpaper right here but as you see I've been like snatching it up but I think in the next video we'll go ahead and start cleaning the cabinets and start getting prepared for when it's time to paint right now this is how this area is looking this is just like all the paint stuff i just kind of set on here like i said i want to get a new stove and pretty much i painted all back here already and i just kind of got the stove out the way for when i had painted back there so yeah so that's what that's looking like and like i said the floors are getting done again so that's how that looks
so this is how the room is looking right now after I paint it with the second coat. This is how the room is looking right now with the second coat. It's looking pretty good, guys. And like I said, the ceiling will be painted and I don't know if I'll replace this with a chandelier or not for my room. But yeah, so far this is how the white color paint is looking on the wall. It looks, it looks pretty good. I like the color white. I went with white because like I said, white uh, opens up a space. And y'all, I was just so tatted at taupe color in my apartment. I was just like, I wanted to, I literally, I wanted to paint that apartment so bad. But I was just like... I knew my vision and I knew my future and I'm like nah I'm not gonna paint it because I feel like if I painted it then that was put me in a mindset that I was gonna stay there forever and I knew I wasn't gonna be there forever so I knew that yeah so this is how the room is looking right now after I painted it so yeah and like I said the bathroom is pretty much the same I just put some little soap in here for when I need to wash my hands and stuff like that so and like I said we got to get this stuff off Comment below if you guys know how to get this hard cock off. This is hard cock and it's like pretty much stuck on there. And I have to find a way to get that off. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. So, we are actually sanding the walls right now. And I want to show you guys exactly how we're doing it real quick. And we basically got to do the whole house like that to, like I said, get a flat surface with the caulk. So basically we are sanding the drywall mud. And we have like an electric sander, so that's what we're doing right now. Again, this is my room right here, which I've already painted. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and paint my second bedroom as well. So this is the second bedroom. And we're going to go ahead and paint this too. I've already put um, one coat of paint, but we're gonna go ahead and put two coats of paint on here to give it that nice crispy look. Okay, so that's what's going on right now. So we got our tools right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get some paint, put it in here. We're gonna go ahead and start getting painted. 